here with touring car and time attack driver Dave Pratt. He's been helping us today test to do an unconventional comparison. We have the Honda Civic SI and next to it this is the new Hyundai Genesis Coupe 2.0T. because it's rear wheel drive versus front wheel drive, naturally aspirated versus turbocharged, Japanese, Korean. And Dave's been driving these cars hard on the track and he's going to give us his thoughts on them. Dave, what do you think about the Honda first? Um, the Honda is sort of a typical front drive car in that it has a fair bit of understeer in it. Um, the engine is, it's got quite a broad power band. People may think of Hondas as being very peaky, but it actually pulls quite strong through the top half of its rev range. Um, on these all-season tires, it does have a lot of understeer in it, so it's very difficult to get the car to rotate and to really take a line without fighting at it, sort of sawing the wheel a little bit, having to do some trail braking and some drop throttle to try to get the car to rotate and, and really hook up, but um, it doesn't feel that fast, but uh, in the end, I think the results were, were a little bit surprising. And what do you think about the Genesis Coupe? Brand new Korean powerhouse. Yeah, no, I love the car. I think it's beautiful. Um, the, the handling dynamics were much more natural. It feels more neutral. It's well balanced. Uh, it doesn't have enough power to really slide the rear end with the gas, but uh, it still takes, a, a, take, it takes a, a turn in line quite well compared to the Civic. But um, because the power band is quite narrow, it really only hits peak boost in about three to 5,000 RPM. It runs out of steam in the top end and it doesn't pull very strong in the low end. So you're dealing with a fairly narrow sweet spot. Um, so even though it feels balanced and it feels faster, um, I think in the end the Civic was actually just over a second faster per lap. That's really surprising considering the, uh, you know, sort of the lack of I guess the lack of power that, uh, and lack of torque associated with the Honda's engine. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you would think mm, the rear drive setup is more a traditional sports car setup. So you would think that's going to automatically have an advantage. But ultimately, what held the Hyundai back was the, the automatic gearbox. Had we had the six-speed manual, I think it would have been one to two seconds a lap faster than it is. Um, so, in the end, I think a you know a, a, an enthusiast who wants to go to the track would obviously go for the six-speed manual. And in the end, I think it would have been a little bit quicker than the Civic, uh, even though they are very similar on power to weight ratio, very similar on on zero to 60 time and so on. Um, around a track, I think the Genesis with its rear drive balance would be a little bit quicker with, with the manual gearbox. And considering both of these cars cost almost exactly the same amount, uh, which would you choose if you had the choice? Um, that's a tough question for me. I mean, I, I'm a long time Honda fan, but uh, I, do enjoy, I do really enjoy the turbo uh, potential. I think with uh, a little bit of tuning, which I'm prone to do, uh, this car would make a bunch more power and you could then steer it with the throttle and it would be very difficult for the Civic to keep up with it at that point because it's much harder to get more power out of this very optimized engine versus really uh, a tuner's engine where you can make a bunch more power and go a lot faster. Sounds good. So the pretty even all around, uh, I guess the numbers uh, proved that they were just without within about a second of each other and uh, I think we've got a very fair comparison from what otherwise looks like two very different types of cars. Uh, thanks again, Dave, and uh, we'll see us at the track soon.